Hello everyone, welcome to my Informatica training channel. In this class, we are going to talk about server-side architecture as well as about client tools. We will briefly discuss on domain and nodes. We will also describe functionality of integration service and repository service and explain the key roles played by repository database. Informatica Power Center has two types of component. One is server-side component and another is client-side tools. We will first explore client-side tools. There are four tools available in client-side. One, two, three and four. Those are designer, workflow manager, workflow monitor and repository manager. This is the designer logo. D stands for designer. We create source and target structure in designer. We also create code for ETL operation in the designer. In informatical terminology, we call this code or program as mapping. So writing ETL code means creating mapping in designer. This is the symbol of workflow manager. W stands for workflow manager. In workflow manager, we create workflow to run the mapping developed in designer. In mapping, we write the logic to extract data from source and load into target, but we don't define the source and target location in mapping. Whereas in workflow, we define source and target location. In brief, I can say that in designer, we create the code and in workflow manager, we configure the code to execute. This is the logo of workflow monitor. In workflow monitor, we can check the run status of workflow like whether a workflow is running or successfully completed, how many records are read from source, how many records are written into target, etc. We will talk about repository manager in subsequent training classes. I just want to take key points from our discussion till now. In designer, we create code that is create the mapping. In workflow manager, we run the code. In workflow monitor, we check the running status of the code or workflow. This is the brief about client tool. It is time to explore server side component. Architecture of power center is service based. Power center has multiple services running in a single node or multiple nodes. There are two types of services available in power center. One is application service and second one is core service. Integration service and repository service are the most important application services. In this class, I will discuss about only on application services. I will explain about core services in some other subsequent class. Repository database, repository service and integration service are three building blocks of power center architecture. I am going to explain the functionality of repository database, repository service and integration service. Along with that, I will cover nodes too. Repository database contains metadata of everything. Metadata means data about data. It stores source and target structure, source and target location, code or mapping logic. That means whatever mapping you create using designer is stored in repository database. Same way workflow you created in workflow manager is also stored in repository database. Whatever object we create to implement ETL operation is stored in repository database. Virtually all objects apart from services are stored in repository database. Repository database is the heart of power center architecture. You cannot directly read from or write into repository database. Repository services maintains and manages repository database. Repository service is solely responsible to manage repository database. Whenever someone needs information from repository, then request should come via repository service, not directly to repository database. Integration service actually performs ETL operation. It reads from source, apply different transformation logic as per mapping logic and then load into target. 
we need physical machine to run any services be it application service or core service. We call physical machine as node. Power center creates domain to manage its, its application services like repository service, integration service and repository database, nodes, licensing, etc. So domain contains different services and nodes. Power center keeps everything under a domain. Let me show you how practically a domain looks like. This is my admin console. We can see domain using admin console. This is my domain. It's very simple. There is only a single node inside the domain. This is my repository service and this is my integration service. Integration service is running in this node. Repository service is also running inside this node. This is the configuration of repository database. Repository database is available inside Oracle. Schema name is infa underscore intake. From my test domain, you can at least visualize how a domain looks like. Now let's go back to the actual theoretical discussion. Let me explain you the interaction between different components in power center. Suppose you have created a mapping in designer and you want to save this mapping. When you press Ctrl S, the designer sends request to domain, domain redirects the request to repository service, repository service interacts with designer and take mapping from designer and load into repository database. When you try to retrieve the code, designer again sends the request to domain, domain route this request to repository service, repository service takes this data out from repository database and send back the information to designer. Now let me tell you how a workflow is executed. You send a request to run a workflow to the domain. Domain redirects the request to integration service. Integration service needs metadata like source and target information, mapping logic, etc. to run a workflow. So integration service sent request to repository service. Repository service in turn get the information from repository database and sends back to integration service. Once every relevant information is available to integration service, then integration service extract data from source, apply different transformation and the load the data into the target as per mapping logic. This is the way how different component of power center works together to perform a ETL operation. Now I will talk about the protocols used in the interaction in between different component of power center. Client tools interact with domain integration service and repository service using TCP IP protocol. TCP IP is used also to interact in between domain and its different services. Integration service and repository service communicates with each other using TCP IP protocol. Repository service uses native driver to communicate with repository database. Integration service connects with source and target using native or OTBC driver. For example, if integration service connects with Oracle, then it uses native driver. When integration service connects with SQL Server or Teradata, then it uses ODBC driver. Power Center uses data directs ODBC drivers. Client tools like Designer uses ODBC driver to connect with source or target. Let me recap key points we discussed so far. Power Center has two types of component. One is server side and other one is client tools. In the server side, Power Center wraps everything inside a domain. Domain contains node and services running under these nodes. Services are two types. One is core and other is application service. Integration service and repository service are application services. Integration service 
extract data from source and load into target as per mapping logic. Repository service maintains repository database. Repository database contains all the objects in Informatica Power Center. Mapping Designer is a client-side tool which helps us to create mapping. Workflow Manager helps us to create workflow to run the mapping developed using Designer. Workflow Monitor gives us running status of workflow. That's all for this session. Please drop me a mail to informatica.training007 at gmail.com if you want to take training on Informatica Power Center. Please stay tuned with this channel since many more learning videos are coming up in this channel. Thanks for watching this demo video.